Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in for Stitch Sundays. I'm excited to be here. I hope you guys are excited to be here. So today's video is going to be really brief, nothing crazy. Um, try to keep it as minimal as possible. So I'm just going to basically show you guys how I straighten my hair. I did cut my hair after I straightened it and then I pinned it up to kind of get this like <laughs> cute little flip thing I got going on. Um, super easy. I did not record that part. Literally, I just recorded the straightening process for any of my 4C girls who think they can't get their hair straight. Mama Soap is here and I got you. Definitely stay tuned. Hi my love, so as you can see I'm starting off with blown out hair. Um, I'll have that video in my description box. So what I'm going to do is part my hair using a rat tail comb for some definition. And then I'm just going to section off the rest of my hair so it doesn't get in the way. So at first I started just flat ironing my hair. But then I thought like, okay, what are you doing? You definitely need to do the chase method. So with the um, fine tooth comb, I'm going to use the chase method in order to flat iron my hair. As you can see here. Okay, so I did end up passing the flat iron over it again just to see if I was getting my hair as straight as possible. But after I noticed I did, for the rest of my hair, I repeat, I only went through with the flat iron one time for the most part unless I felt that it was still kinky. But you definitely want to try to minimize the heat damage that you can possibly get from flat ironing your hair. So like I said, you want to just do one pass and then just keep it pushing. So it looks like the back of my hair is pretty much mid shoulder blade. I know the front is going to be somewhat shorter, but I do plan on cutting my hair after flat ironing it because it's been way too long and it's a new year. So I'm definitely going to just document everything that I do with my hair. So today is going to be the first cut and I'm super excited about it. So pretty much just follow through with the same exact steps for the rest of your hair until you achieve your desired look. As far as protecting your hair, I highly recommend using a heat protectant. Now when I blow dried my hair, that's what I sprayed on my hair so I didn't want to add more product. And I feel like major key to achieving really straight hair or just like really full body hair is minimizing the product that you use because it'll just pretty much add builds up and you definitely don't want that. But I just showed you guys there what I'm going to trim off. And yeah, just like I said, continue the steps to achieve your look.
thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.